Aloha and welcome to At The Crossroads. I am your host, Keisha King, and it's always a pleasure to have you right here with us every Wednesday, live at 5. You can find us on thinktechhawaii.com or on the Facebook channel of Think Tech Hawaii. And after the show, you can find me on YouTube. Well, as you know, we are still celebrating Women's History Month. And today we are so excited to bring to you some illustrious women who are doing great things in the world of business. That's right, we have women who are running things. We have today two special guests with us. One in our second guest, our second segment rather, who is leading uh, as a human resources consultant and life coach. We're gonna talk to Laura Lund in just a little bit. But our first guest who is joining us remotely is a woman who wears so many hats, I probably would need the entire show to name them all. It is, our guest today is the author of this wonderful book, Tijuana Golson. The title of this book is, Girl, What Are You Gonna Do With Your Money? I love that title. And I love talking <laughs> to women who make a difference, especially when it comes to the purse strings, so without further ado, we're going to jump right into it and talk to and welcome Tiwana Golson. Aloha, Tiwana. Aloha. It is so good <laughs> to have you with us today. Thank you for joining us at the Crossroads. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Indeed. An honor to be here. Oh, wonderful. So, Tawana, before we begin, I received so much wonderful information from your people. And I just want to kind of run down your long, extensive list of businesses <laughs> and adventures that you are involved oh, in. God. Here we go. I don't even have enough fingers to count them all. Okay. You have Tag Consulting LLC, where you are the CEO of Business Coaching. You are the owner and founder of LIPS, L-I-P-S. Ladies Impacting Professional Systems, a business networking group. You have FAMMAT, which is Family Matters Services, LLC, a healthcare company licensed by the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Development Services. You have, is it Galgat Enterprises, a commercial real estate investment company. GL Holdings, yeah. a division of Golson and Associates, a real estate investment company. That's a residential real estate investment company. Then yes. you also have the Women's Business, Business Symposium, LLC, which is a one-day business symposium for women. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. You have the Sisterhood Divas, LLC, G Management, LLC, the Maximized Life Coaching and Mentoring Team, the Max Publishing, LLC, Legacy Properties Elite, a safe ride, all state insurance, and then you're a silent partner with other businesses. How do you yeah. do it all? <laughs> <sighs> That's so Looks much. like somebody did their homework. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Look, when you're doing it, you, you don't even realize how much it is. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth um, because you're busy doing business. Right. So I thank God for just awesome partners, awesome team members, awesome staff, awesome employees, just people that are out there running and working the businesses and, and making me look like I'm a star. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a star. But I want to say with all that you do, how important is it, is it, and you've already alluded to this, but how important is it for you? have a supportive team and family. Oh my goodness. Honestly, Keisha, I could not do this. I couldn't do any of this without a strong supportive team. First starting with my husband, who just I adore because he follows any journey that I want to take. <laughs> any wild idea. Any wild dream, that beautiful man is there for the ride. And I just thank God for him. I thank God for my children, you know. They're so cute. I just want to grab their you. cheeks. <laughs> the 
That's so adorable. And those two little ones on that picture, those are my grandchildren. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. They're so cute. I happen to be a... I happen to be a Nana, too. Oh, so. <laughs> add that to the list. <laughs> All of that is what makes me be me. Um, and I hang out with a great group of women okay. that I call the Sisterhood Divas. Sisterhood and Divas. And they keep me down. They keep me normal. You know, those are, those are my jack-up parts. Okay. You know, they're the ones that are get me behind closed doors and tell me the truth mm -hmm. and jack me up if I act up. Okay, so I believe we have a picture of the Sisterhood Divas. That should be, is this the yeah, Sisterhood those, Divas? Those are my girls right there. That's us at a retreat. Um, we always retreat at least once a year. Wow. Um, I love it. A bunch it. of us, and we get together, and we just love on each other. Just, just have a lot of fun. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just have some girls time. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so beautiful. I want to ask. And one of my. Go ahead. I'm sorry. One of my sister's birthdays today, Blendy Holder. I want to say happy birthday to Blendy today. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I want to see your face when you say that. Let's let's take a look. All right, go ahead and tell her happy birthday. Happy birthday, Blendy. It's your day, girl. You that big five. Oh, you gotta do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know you had to do it. You just had to give yes. a shout out because you know sometimes. People yes, just... I did to my sisters. There you go. Well, happy 50th birthday from all of us here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Yay! Congratulations <laughs> on making that milestone. That's a big deal. So, how Thank important you. is it for you to have a community of women surrounding you? Oh my gosh! I, you know, let let me just let me just back up a little bit and just talk about why I'm so passionate about bringing and connecting and being a part of other women's lives. Okay, um, it's sad to me because more often than not, I hear women say, "I don't do women. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I can't get along with other women." And I'm like, "Aren't you a woman?" <laughs> I just really don't get that. You know. Um, in every stage of our life, it's challenging enough to do life alone, let alone not to have anyone to confide in. So for me, you know, I like to reach back to the younger ones. I like to hang out with my girls in my age group, and I like to lift it and sit at the feet of, of some older women. Um, there's a group of older women that I hang out with, too, Keisha. I, I think I might have a picture. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> That's so cute, yes. The Aww. little lady that I'm right beside, well, the two ladies that I'm sandwiched in between, you know, they're 91 and 92-year-old. Wow. That's so beautiful. That is amazing. That they is are, amazing. They're still driving, the both of them, and they sassy honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's so special. That is so they special. They give me life. I call them my blessed women, building legacies every day with sleeping and sisters. I kind of gave them that name. <laughs> wow. I love that. Building legacies every day with seasoned sisters. Every day with seasoned sisters. That's and beautiful. I get with them at least every quarter. Okay. Take them to lunch, me and a couple of other my girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And we just sit at their feet and let them tell us and, and impart wisdom in us. And um, I think that's so important, you yes. know, because one day, if we're blessed enough, we're going to be their age. That's right. And, and we're going to be the we're going to be the seasoned sisters mm -hmm. that need to reach back That's to right. the generation behind us. So you know, I, I just think it's so important to have that energy. And mm -hmm. some things, you know, I have a, a loving husband. I've been with for twenty seven years, married twenty seven years, yes, thirty one years. Wow, um, congratulations! But but thank you. But I can't tell him everything. Right. Some things he doesn't understand. Right. It's just some things my sister should know, you know, right. about some hormones, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. <laughs> well, I don't want to switch so, gears too much. Tongue. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't want to switch gears too much because I want to sit right there for a minute and say that, you know, yeah. I understand what you mean about being able to spend time with your sisters, with other women and have that mm -hmm. type of connection. Do you feel like all of this has helped you in the world of business? Absolutely, absolutely. Many of my sisters 
actually, I would say about half of them um, have over the last few years become business owners themselves. Okay. Um, and I'm very proud of that because I've seen many lives change. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's why I do what I do, especially with business coaching, um, help people realize their dreams and, and help them with life changing, um, you know, um, I, I just help them with, with life changing right. opportunities. Okay. So yeah, be, being, being among my sisters is amazing. Okay. All yeah. right. So tell me this, I understand, heard it through the grapevine, maybe found it on Google somewhere along the line that you are known as the business magnet mogul. Where did yes, that ma'am. name come from? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's a part of that branding thing. Okay, okay. so I'm a business owner, mm-hmm. have been in business, my husband and I, um, for a little over 20 years now. How we raised our kids, put kids through college, and, you know, we had the family. Okay. Um, and it, the magnet part comes from just opportunities are all coming to us. I mean, you just couldn't even imagine how many times we sit down with opportunities to start business. It, okay. it is so funny. You know, my friends have a joke that, you know, you get with T, you mess around and you get a business. Hmm. <laughs> my nickname's T, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> we actually have a picture of one of, um, I think, one of your clients for your business. Oh, yes. Yep, that's one of our clients. That's Jennifer of Allstate. Okay. That, I remember we started that business maybe three years ago, and now she has two, two branches. Wow, yes. two branches of Allstate. Yes. And then you also have yes. Lips. Explain that Lips logo for us as we're looking at that. Lips, I love Lips. Lips stands for, well, let me, let me just give you a little history of it. I had put a, a few years ago, I had put a notice on Facebook that I was going to do a give back for the beginning of the year. And I, I um, offered free coaching and free mastermind session to whoever would take it, right? Okay. And I had them to come meet me at a local restaurant in New Virginia. And we just sat down and we mastermind. About 10 ladies showed up, 10 or 11 ladies showed up to that. And at that time, I called it Ladies in Need of a Push to Start. Wow. So I was kind of pushing them into their destiny for the new year, you know, giving them some accountability. Um, trying to break that whole uh, chain of, I want to start, but I never start. Next thing you know, January is here again. You know what I mean? Right. So, and we ended up, out of that group, we ended up just really clicking and holding each other accountable, and the group began to grow. So now the ladies have started. Out of that group, several businesses have started. So now I changed the name and got a trademark to ladies impacting professional systems. I so love it. Every first and third Wednesday we come together, we mastermind, uh, we bring a, a special guest in that may talk about, like our last guest was a banker. Okay, and this is a it photo here. here. We just, yeah, that's, that's what our typical lips meeting looks like. Wow. Um, and they'll come in and they'll talk about something relating to business, something that will help a, a business owner um, progress. So now we have a business symposium flyer that you have coming up. We have about a minute or so before we need to take a break. Let's talk about that. Your yes, symposium. yes, yes. I am so proud of the Women's Business Symposium. We're having it in, in Norfolk, Virginia, which is a great place to have it at the, the main, um, the Hilton Main Hotel. And the idea of this symposium is to equip women, women, business owners, with the tools that they need to either get started, to get motivated, to get inspired, or to just take their current business to another level. I see. So we're going to have several different panels of discussion. We're going to start off with Workforce Development, the Small Business Association, the State Corporation Commission. And wow. they're going to start off just talking about, hey, business owners, we're here for you. This is what our offices are here for. Right. So we're kind of going to bridge that gap. 
between the small business owner and the local government. Okay. And then we'll have several other sessions. Like my mm-hmm. session will be, girl, what you going to do with your money? And we're going to have Dr. Lynn Richardson and the legendary MC Light um, on my panel. We're going to talk about, you know, money matters. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about, they also offered a book called Your Man and Your Money. So we'll talk about how to balance your, your private life and while you're out there making money. Um, I we're love- going to have an all-male panel. Okay. I love the sound of all of that. It sounds like it's yeah. something that is very, very exciting. And we've shared all of this and still haven't even talked about your book. You're into so many great things. So I tell you what we're going yeah. to do. We're going to take a very quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk a little bit more about the symposium because I want to talk about it so that I can say a special announcement as well. And then we're going to talk about this yeah. book, Girl. What you going to do with your money? Do with your money. <laughs> I love it. So we will be right back. You're watching At the Crossroads. Aloha. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. Hey, Aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that you know may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Yukari Kunisue, the host of Konnichiwa Hawaii, Japanese talk show on ThinkTech Hawaii. Konnichiwa Hawaii is all Japanese broadcast show. And it's streamed live on ThinkTech at 2 p.m. every other Monday. Thank you so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. I'm Yukari Kunise. Mahalo. Aloha. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock, live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means, Let's take healthy back. Aloha. Aloha, and welcome back to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Keisha King, and today we are talking about women in business. We've been talking with business owner, entrepreneur, and author, and coach, and the list goes on, Tijuana Golson. Tijuana, welcome back to At the Crossroads. Thank you for having me back. Yes. So I wanted to touch on something that you mentioned that I thought was absolutely amazing. You talk a bit about women and you say equipment as opposed to empowerment. That speaks volumes to me. Can you please elaborate on that for us? Sure, sure, sure. Now, no, no shade to any women empowerment. Um, ladies out there, because a lot of my friends, they're doing their thing with the empowerment movement. I also am in the empowerment movement. I motivate and inspire all the time. But the difference between equipment and empowerment is after, for instance, you go to a conference and you get excited, you get motivated, you get inspired, then you go home and you're like, what now? Exactly. Exactly. That's where the equipment piece picks up at. Equipment, we dig the tools and we walk alongside the person, the business owner, the lady, and we help them with mentorship. Um, More demonstrational than just motivational, if you will. Okay. Which is your actual coaching style? I've heard you say yes, your coaching, coaching style is, a, yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. you, you yes. lead by demonstration. 
and teach by demonstration. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I love that's that. Why I typically, that's why I typically um, work with people locally. Now, as far as motivating and inspiring, I talk to people all over the country, but as far as actual business owners, I, I do most of my work locally because I'm that coach that likes to go and help you hang the, the sign up at the store. That's me. I'm sorry. It might be corny, but I no. like to actually see. <laughs> yes. I love the result. <laughs> yes. That's why we love your pictures. I, you know, you're standing right yeah. there with that person. And I think that speaks volumes to you as a person as well. You are, have you. been very successful in all of your businesses. And now you yes. also take the initiative to equip others to be as successful. I think that is extremely selfless and it's just inspirational to, to witness. Now, to Thank change you. hats, let's talk about you and this book and other books <laughs> and series of books that you have coming out. Tell us, what inspired you to write, girl, what are you going to do with your money? Well, first of all, I was raised um, very modest, and no one talked to me about money. <laughs> right. So I made a lot, of, a lot of mistakes along the way, a lot of mistakes along the way. Um, the best that I got was I did see my grandmother's notepad because I was a very inquisitive kid. Okay. And I was nosy, you know, basically nosy. So I would listen, <laughs> I would go, and I would sneak. <laughs> I would sneak and I would see uh, her write her bills down and check them off. I said, oh, okay, so I guess that's what you have to do. So that was the watered down budget. And okay. um, then my mom used to bulk shop. So that, you know, I said, okay, so uh, if I practice that, I'll keep some money in my pocket. But anyway, that was the extent of it. Okay. So I get a lot, a lot of um, questions about money in my practice. In fact, Tisha. Okay. We actually have to start there mm -hmm. before we can even go set. I'm okay. telling you, it's an extreme emotional time because most people want to go into business to make a lot of money. Right. You know, but That's they don't right. really know how to manage the money that they have. So we have right. to get through all of that. What do you believe about money? What were you thought about money? What are your feelings about money? And That's um, right. once we get through all of that rubbish, Mm -hmm. we can deal with, can you manage a budget at your office? So, That's right. Basically, my friend said I got tired of answering questions, so I put it in a book. So. <laughs> well, I think that's the smartest thing to do. If you start hearing the same questions over and over and over, you're <laughs> going to go ahead and just put it in a book, sell the book. They can buy the book. Yes. The trick is to get them to read yes. it and implement so even in right. your writing, you have become a person who equips others to be successful. Yes, ma'am. So before yes, we go, I want to also ask you or talk to you a little bit about Tijuana Golson, the children's author. What do you oh, have wow. coming soon? <laughs> well, what has come out February 14 is You Are Love, There She Is at oh. Marvelland. Oh. Which, uh, this is a speak. Let me let me just let you in on the inside that I didn't tell you before. Okay. Marvel Ann is that character is me at three years old. What? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so yes, the cute. Illustrator <laughs> took my three year old picture and created Marvel Ann. Mm -hmm. um, Marvel Ann is a combination of my grandmother, my mom, and my daughter, and my middle name. Okay. So I my love grandmother's it. name is Mary. Uh -huh. Mom is Valerie, and my daughter, Maya, is Antoinette. So I put it all together, and you get Marvel Land. Got it. But anyway, Marvel Land <laughs> is a series of, of self-esteem books for children ages 0 to 5. So I want okay. to kind of get to them, teach them before they get to school, and, and, and the kids pick on them and tell them everything's wrong. You know? Exactly. Your hair's not right. Your skin's not right. You're and you know fat, what? I short, have heard tall. all of that, and I have seen that. I know it's real. I know it's real. Yes. And I know what you're doing is making a difference. And so from thank all you. of us here in Honolulu, Hawaii, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. I can't wait to see you. you. I will actually be with you in May at your Women's Business yes. Symposium. 
I so get to be, I am excited too. I get the privilege of being one of your media uh, personalities there. So hopefully I'll get yes. to interview you and all the other guests and uh, participants in yes, the panel. Yes, And spend some time with MC Light. And oh, I'm just so excited. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but until then, we'll be looking forward. I've read the book. I'll look forward now to getting the children's books to share with my nieces and nephews. We're going to post where others can find your information. Again, Tijuana, thank you so much. Happy Women's History Month. And we'll be talking to you again soon. Aloha. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you. <laughs> For our next segment, we have a wonderful guest who is going to share with us about her business. And that is my dear friend, Laura Lund. Hello, Laura. Hi. How are you? I'm doing just fine Very and good. so happy that you're here. How are you? Good to be here. Good. Excited to be here. Wonderful. So tell us, you are also a life coach, but yours is a little bit unique. Please tell us what makes yours a little bit different. Um, I guess I would say what makes it a little bit different is that I'm kind of just getting started. Okay. What has touched my heart is really to work with women who have that deep desire to really want to fulfill their God-designed story yes. and unique purpose that he's given them. Okay. And that's, I think that when we do that, so many things can happen. You know, we grow closer to him. Um, we're happy with what we're doing because we're making a difference in the world and a difference in the lives of others as well as, you know, furthering his kingdom. Right, right. So you have more of a faith-based life coaching practice. Yes. 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 And having to practice that along the way. <laughs> yes, right. Yes, stepping out and trusting. Hmm. Stepping and, out and trusting. Yeah, and that's a continuous process. Yes. Yeah. So how yes. long have you been uh, active in your faith? Oh gosh, active in my faith, I would say young age, okay. you know, back in high school, okay. even younger. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just in the last several years that it's begun to really grow okay, um, and really step into it. Okay. Yeah. So now your mission is to help women find their greater purpose and yes. their greater calling. Their greater purpose, their greater calling, um, and just having that courage to take that step of faith. Okay. What has that process looked like for you in your own walk? It's been interesting. <laughs> it's like I have all kinds of ideas that float in my head, mm -hmm. um, but that trusting piece comes to getting it out. Right. Um, and trusting that it's going to be okay. okay. And this is the direction I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Yeah. And I find a lot of times women have those types of questions. They say, what am I here for? Uh, it has to be greater than this. Uh, you have a background as a human resources uh, professional. So there were times, I'm sure, where you were training and developing others yes. in their careers. Yes. And you too thought there must be more than this. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that. Um, I think early on in life, I realized um, through the different jobs that I've had that some type of service was the area that I wanted to go. Um, and so all jobs have been related to that and helping people to grow and develop, reach their potential, start their stepping stones. Um, and through all of that, I've kind of looked back on history and I can see how everything that I've done is built mm -hmm. on bringing me to where I am today. Mm -hmm. And so it's like just the next piece of my purpose I understand. Um, is to continue that, but at a different level. Okay. I understand that. Yeah. So there is this joy that comes and this peace of mind that comes when you are in the right place at the right time, yes. doing the right thing. Yes, yes. But what about when you're not there yet? What, what should a person begin doing to help them get in that proper position? To get into that place? Um, I think it's just being persistent, okay. not allowing the, the thoughts to take over mm -hmm. um, or take those thoughts and replace them with thoughts that, yes, we can do this. Mm -hmm. We can push through this. Mm -hmm. We just need to, you know, stop thinking and just do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, just do it kind of thing. Yeah. I understand that. And I think the challenge is sometimes you kind of get in this rut 
there's this feeling of you want more, you desire more, but you don't know how to go about getting it. Yeah. So as a coach, how do you lead people to that point where they, um, or better yet, how can people find you so that they can get to that point? Um, how they can find me is um, if you're interested in coaching and want to have a chat to see, a, I call it a story chat, to see if this is the direction that you want to go. And we'll talk a little bit about you know what it is you desire. And then from there, um, start talking about a plan through coaching. Um, you can reach me by just simply sending an email to LLLUND, the number four, at hotmail.com. Okay. All right. So if you want to reach out, to Laura for coaching, you can do that by going to LLLUND, the number four, at hotmail.com. Yes. And she will be able to help you with your needs as far as coaching and helping you find direction and purpose in life. All of our shows are meant to empower and equip and educate women, men, children, anyone of all ages, People from all over the world but as we celebrate women this month I am so honored and pleased to have all of our women guests who are doing great things in the world of business and next week we're going to have women who are celebrating other women we also have a guest who is an inventor that's going to spend some time with us and uh, I believe now we're going to have a woman who is in the field of medicine because someone gave us that idea earlier and said that we should definitely talk about women in medicine. So women are everywhere in this world. We are the, actually we are a part of the creators, right? We help others come into this world. We celebrate women all over the world. We celebrate you. We know that many of us find ourselves at the crossroads of life and we're here to equip you so that you can embrace where you are, and move from where you are to where you want to be. As always, I thank you for spending your time right here with me. We're always live at five on Wednesdays. You're watching At The Crossroads. Aloha.